without comment. So, what about the borders? Irregular borders. Please? borders. Oh, I, I do not understand. Are these regular? Lobulated. Lobulated, Lobulated, borders. Lobulated, Lobulated yes. Borders. I think that this is a, a very uh, uh, evident case. Uh, so, this this pattern is 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 an absolute uh, uh, good example for uh, lobulation. I think that in this case uh, there would be no interobserver disagreement that this nodule has uh, uh, lobulated or even speculated margins. Uh, does not matter whether lobula uh, lobulated or speculated. These are irregular margins, uh, and. Uh, this nodule has at least three other uh, important features. What are these important features uh, which should raise suspicion? Hmm? Please, if you have meaning or please is say what are these three other suspicious features in this nodule? Hyperechoic, yes, this is a, uh, I, I will pause the video. Uh, so I think that this is clearly uh, more darker, clearly darker than the strap muscle running ventral to the tight. So this uh, nodule is deeply hypoechoic and what what are within the nodule? Microcalcifications. Yes, microcalcifications. I think that uh, it uh, cannot be debated that these uh, uh, bright echogenic uh, figures uh, belong to microcalcifications here, 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 and here. And uh, it is a technical artifact that I think uh, if you if we view this in a live mode. In a continuous mode, it is more impressive than uh, compared to the uh, freezing the image. And what is the third important one? It's yeah. the extension. Yes, 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 uh, yes, I, I uh, uh, agree. This is again a very good example of extra tidal extension. I try to stop the video here. Uh, the this continuous capsule is the least uh, important sign because normally uh, the capsule of the thyroid can be discontinuous. So this sign that uh, he, uh, the capsule is broken here uh, has uh, the uh, least importance, but it is abutting. And uh, again, if we compare the levels here and here are the normal ventral levels of the lobe and it bulges uh, into the strap muscle, or in this case, uh, it was a T4 tumor. It uh, budged not into the, not only into the strap muscle, but uh, into the subcutaneous tissue. So this was a T4 uh, uh, cancer. Any other comments, questions related to this case? Yes. Uh, excuse me. Please. Uh, are there bad word figures? There are all micro <laughs> uh, Good question. Okay, this is not a micro calcification. This is the tip of the needle. So <laughs> this one is only okay. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, these uh, pale granules and lines uh, uh, correspond to the normal architecture of the uh, nodule. Uh, so these are uh, no problem, and also this one. Uh, these pale granules, but I think that uh, you uh, asked uh, the bright granules. 
uh, I don't think that this is mathematic, uh, the analysis of the thyroid ultrasound image. Uh, we uh, have a guess uh, which uh, cannot be 100% uh, correct. Uh, I think that this presentation, and I cannot uh, make my judgment uh, not taking into account other features of uh, the nodule. So the whole presentation argues uh, for a, a very suspicious uh, nodule. Uh, I quoted uh, several times Enrico Papini, who stated uh, that he uh, do not uh, analyze the single features. Uh, he sees, he watches the entire pattern. And, uh, okay, uh, the entire pattern is composed of the borders and the uh, uh, intranular granules, in this case, microclassifications. Uh, but uh, an experienced uh, uh, ultrasonographer uh, uh, pays less attention uh, to these single features. Maybe because uh, this is very difficult to exactly determine uh, the this uh, one, but I think that this pattern, uh, on this pattern, uh, I'm quite sure that most of these bright granules uh, are microclassifications. Other options? Gilles, do you have a comment on this question, that all of these granules are microclassifications, how to, how to judge this? No, no, no. I, I think it is difficult, and uh, uh, probably you're right. Maybe the, it, it is a mixed uh, origin, and uh, probably there are true microclassifications that you cannot eliminate. It. There are some small vaccistic, uh, tiny hyperechoic spots. So maybe there are two categories and we, we can't truly uh, separate one from another, maybe by zooming and et cetera, et cetera, having, a, uh, taking off the, com the compound of it. And, but anyway, uh, as we have the marked hypoecogenicity, the, the borders that are irregulars uh, and the extra thyroidal extension anyway, we have at least two, maybe three, other features of high suspicion. So, even if it's difficult to to separate, well, these are hyperechoic spots. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, are you uh, satisfied with uh, our answer? Mm. Hopefully, she did not quit the webinar. So, uh, this was our second case. Uh, other comments, questions about this case? Was it a papillary cancer? Yes, it was a papillary cancer. Uh, I uh, reveal one of the uh, secrets. All cases uh, which are signed with CONP, these consecutive papillary cancers, is all uh, uh, are papillary cancers. So, if you find it in a quiz or in the uh, exam, uh, then uh, it uh, reveals that uh, these cases were papillary cancers. Not only uh, these uh, are papillary cancers which are signed with this c one p but uh, all uh, which are signed with this c one p in the website are all papillary cancers. Other question? If not, we follow with the next case.